This video is brought to you by Tone Pusher. This synth is incredibly powerful and so versatile. Plus, it's free. Let me show you. Hi, I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how you can make a really simple starter patch in Vital that you can turn into bass, keys, pads, arps, and leads, all for Synthwave. Step one, we're gonna set up what I call the saw stack. And the secret is here in this envelope. Can we change this to an envelope? It's inside the envelope. We'll get to that in a sec. When you open up Vital, I like to go initialize preset and make it look all normal like this. And all you gotta do is just turn on your oscillators and use the initialized saws. Once you have the oscillator set up, we're going to run it through a filter. So let's turn on the filter and having it in this mode here is perfect. Vital's nice. It defaults you on a nice low pass filter, but if you want to change them, it's just this little slider here. You can go from low to band pass to high pass, but don't worry about that. All you need to do is just leave it at low pass. Run all of your oscillators through including these because we will be using those when we start messing around with the sound. As I said earlier, the secret to changing it all is inside the envelope. And I don't mean inside the actual, I mean these envelopes here. So we're gonna switch to envelope number two over here. You click on that guy and we're gonna make it look like, maybe like this. And we're going to put it onto the cutoff, which is this slider here. So with Vital, you can set up any kind of modulation by just dragging it over to whatever sound, to whatever parameter you want to do it on. We want to put it on our cutoff, which is this slider down here. This is a warm tape. That's the only thing with Vital. I wish you would like label all of this stuff. I know it's like resonance is the slider. It's a slider. It's a vertical slider. Whoa, producer police coming in here with unclear instructions, but. You know what? That's okay. As an aside, if you are using Serum, all of this stuff will translate over. So I recommend honestly using Serum because there's a few more bells and whistles over Vital, but what can you complain about? This is free. This is for zero dollars. And what's cool about Vital is it'll actually give you a preview of what you're modulating when you hover over. Anyway, back to the topic at hand, our starter saw stack. Synthwave starter epicness starts with... <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> Why are you on this channel? Envelope number two, have it look a little bit like this. Have it short. So if you want the exact ADSR, it's over here, but I like to make it look like this, around 500 seconds. Just so that we get this effect. And I turn this little pie chart up to give the amount of modulation to this sit. So I like going from full and like kind of down here. And I, and I, this is kind of the sweet spot here. And that is the basic saw stack starter. Now you will be adjusting these two parameters very, very frequently, but essentially this is already a pretty good synthwave bass. And now it doesn't sound like too, too much, but watch how we change it up. And if you're like, well, I don't know what to start customizing Ash, that's too confusing for me. Well, the best way to learn what works with customization when it comes to envelope settings or oscillators or detune is to study other presets, like from today's sponsor, Tone Pusher. When you wanna focus on making songs, especially in genres like Synthwave, you want a solid collection of sounds that just work for the genre. That way you spend less time turning knobs, trying to dial something in, and more time writing actual music. And with Tone Pusher's Serum presets, you get stuff that that's high quality. I mean, listen to this. These presets not only sound great, but are actually affordable. With low prices from $5 to $7 Canadian, that's like, I don't know, $3 US each? And that's for a whole pack? And they're easy to use. And plus, if that isn't enough value, they've got a Patreon as well. So for the same amount of one of these bundles, you get access to MIDI files, multi-track stems, audio files, and 25% off all the bundles and packs. You can learn more by checking out their links below. Thank you 
Tone Pusher for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get right back into it. Now we can kind of experiment with everything else, but as long as we have this envelope and filter set up, we can do a ton of stuff and still have it sound synth wavy. I'm actually going to turn on this third oscillator here and pitch it down, let's say five, to give it another layer, a nice little harmonic, if you will. And I'm also going to start detuning some of these. That's very synth wave now. We can even add a bit of this little sampler here, which is a noise oscillator. Take it off the filter. And that's another layer you can add on. By adjusting this filter, you can dial in a tone for the bass. And finally, we can take these voices down, turn them to one so they don't blend together. And this is just raw. We don't even have any effects on it yet. You could add distortion to crunch it up, compressor, put it on single band mode to tighten up the sound, change up the envelope length, make it shorter so that you can have more rolling basses, throw an arpeggiator on it, and that's just with the bass. And we can take the same concepts we learned from making the bass, and I'm gonna make some chords here. Now let's do our starter once again. Two oscillators, one filter, make sure we're running our oscillators through it, and then just setting up our filter envelope once again. I'm gonna turn the resonance down for this one because I want to make it a little bit more plucky. So the way to do that is all you gotta do is just change the envelope, make the envelope like real long like that. Turn that down. And then... You hear that from going here? You can make it plucky with a shorter envelope and then long. And we can even do the same thing with the first envelope. Lengthen that release. And look at that. Like I said, the answer is inside this envelope. Can we make it into an envelope editor? No? Okay. But yeah, that's all you're doing. Just adjusting these envelopes until you're getting some good good. Turn the cutoff a bit. And keep adjusting the little pie until you get a nice pluck. And it's all with the filter. It's all with the filter in the envelope. That's all it is. And then I'm going to try these oscillators. Let's do basic shapes. Turn it one into a square, then one into the square that looks like that. Do these octave spreads. So oscillator one, down one octave instead. Leave oscillator two at normal. And let's detune them a bit. Let's give them some stacks. And keep adjusting this filter until you get the right tone. But that's a great chord patch as well. And it just goes to show, I made this pad here really similar, but all I changed was the envelopes. I did a bit of detuning and changed the wavetable to alternating harmonics, which is also... It's in here. It's that one there. It's right there. It's inside Vital Default. And it's a combination of doing detune, changing the octave, and especially this envelope on the filter. With this lead as well, we've got our saw waves. I cheat a little, I used a, a serum one called Juno, but resetting the octaves and changing envelope two to have a little bit more of a delayed attack so we get something that sounds more like. Don't worry about the auto pan there. And that's all from that filter. It's this filter and envelope. It gives it the thing that you hear so much in synthwave sounds. You can also experiment with a lot of these effects. Flanger, delay, phaser, chorus, distortion. Generally, the default setting of them is good enough. All you gotta do is just turn mix down. And with this one, adding noise as well, but making sure to run it through. 
the filter. If you like what I'm doing, if you learned something, please like and subscribe so you don't miss my next video. Massive thank you to all the patrons going up the screen. You allow me to keep making these videos, honestly. And so does Tone Pusher. As I said, they are a great place to find high quality sounds that you can use in your songs or to learn from. That's all for now. Go make some bangers. Peace.